86, welcome back, elites. How you doing? You're about to experience something huge. This is big news right here on screen. You see it, Marco Paul? Uh, you notice anything? Mm-hmm. You definitely should. Uh, okay, I'll go easy on you today. I'll give you a hint. The leads, look at them. Marco and Paul are wearing the leads correctly. The oldest characters in the world finally fixed. This is amazing. It's a Minecraft 1.16 thing. Nicely done, devs. Nicely done. My bees, they're looking clean. We stand. I like it. Ah, but gamers, welcome back. It's a farm day. The first Minecraft 1.16 farm day. Even better. Now, what are we farming today? What do we need to build something for? Well, of course, these wood things right here. These things, mushroom, wood, stem, creature. Eh, they're not creatures. These things right here. Yeah, we, we like them. They're good, and they're the basis of everything. Okay, well, maybe not everything. That's a little bit of an exaggeration, but they are cool, and I would definitely like to use these in builds. So, it's time to set up a farm so we can farm these things easily, because they are kind of a pain. You need to grow them at Nylium, and then all of those blocks that grow around them, these things right here, kind of annoying to harvest. So, today, I actually went ahead and did some episode preparation. Who is he? This is what we're going to use to build today's farm, and some other stuff. The farms themselves, and we're gonna build two of them, uh, require these materials right here. Cut everything in half, uh, not the 20 redstone, not the 64 building blocks. You just need extra redstone, extra building blocks. You're probably gonna wanna have some netherrack on hand and definitely at least one of the nylium types, whichever one you're going with, we're gonna go with both. So we're gonna need at least one of both of those and we're definitely gonna wanna have some bone meal as well. Now, if we wanna grow these trees, we're gonna need the mushrooms too, the fungi, the fungus, whatever, we, the fungus. So we're going to need some of these things as well. So, I think that's everything that we're going to need. Pam, you're coming with me. Let's go, let's go. You get to leave the storage building the first time in probably like three or four episodes. Uh, you haven't even been to your house in like a long time. Hey, we, we don't worry about it. Now these farms, where are we going to build them? Well, I was sort of thinking about this world. Uh, these farms are going to look different. They're going to really stand out. So, I think it would be a cool idea to build them sort of... You know, maybe on the other side of the nether portal here, we could maybe do a bunch of new nether stuff in this area, and I think that would look really, really cool. Probably really good, too. So, uh, basically, long story short, we're going to build our farms, I think, right in here. How are we going to get to them? Either A, cut through the nether portal, or B, we add a road over there by the storage area. Not too sure quite yet. And where did Pam go? Great. I think Pam's in the nether. Okay, all right. All right, so first things first, leveling the land here. This is gonna be a little tricky to work with. What I'm thinking is we can take the land from here, take it out, and then take these blocks and put them in right over here and fill this in. Now over here, we have a staircase down into this ravine. This is like the first ravine, the first uh, big caving thing that we did. Uh, I wanna leave it open, kind of, maybe, maybe not, maybe not. We're just gonna fill this in. We don't need the staircase anymore. Who am I kidding? Oh, but valuable, precious, coarse dirt. No, we're not gonna waste you. You're not gonna get buried. We're gonna definitely move you up, put you right up here on the surface. This is your place, Courser. You shine here. Nice, nicely done. I don't know, is it just me or does coarse dirt just look amazing? I, I don't know, I seriously, no joke, like, I love how coarse dirt looks. I, I know, it's, it's not a big deal, it's literally dirt, but I, I just love how it looks. I think it looks beautiful. All right, seeds, we don't need those. We're gonna throw those down there. Anyways, the farm. First, we're gonna build the machine. Then we're gonna put a building around the machine to make it look good. This thing is gonna make growing and harvesting the fungus trees, whatever you wanna call them, pretty easy. This is gonna be a life changer. So, we're gonna start with the warped one because everybody knows the warped one is better. Warped wood, it's, it's much, much better. better. Far better than crimson wood, but they're both cool. Don't get me wrong. So, we're gonna need those supplies right here that we put in our inventory. We're gonna wanna find a spot to build at first which is going to be over here. We want to give this portal some distance, but not too much distance because we have that thing over there. Eventually, after we're done with the nether stuff, I definitely want to build a pillager farm. I think that would be cool. But anyways, the farm, today's one. What we're going to want to do is clear out a three by three area of space and then one block on the back. But after we do that, we're going to realize that we're too close to the ravine and we're going to fill it back in and we're going to move it. We try it again. One block on the back right here, and then a three by three right in front of it. So we have that right there. Then we're going to want to dig down in here a little bit more and replace the ground with netherrack or nylium, depending on whatever you have the most of. So we're looking for something like this. Eventually, we're going to turn all of this to the warped nylium with bone meal, but for now, that's fine. After that, we'll place a temporary block there and an observer looking forward, just like that. Then remove the temporary block. All right, so now we end up with something that looks like this. Now, I actually lied. This farm, it's not only for growing the giant trees, 
trees, it's also for collecting the fungus items themselves and all of the cool other nether plants. Of course, if we want to grow more giant fungus, we're going to need more small fungus. And if we want to get more small fungus, we're going to need a nylium patch. What are we going to have in this build? A nylium patch. So perfect. Anyways, back to the build. After setting up something like this, we need to dig out the sides, either side of this thing. Now we're going to need some pistons. We're going to put some pistons in here to move the floor back and forth to automatically harvest everything. On one side of this thing, doesn't matter which side, you're going to want your pistons right against your nether rack. On the other side, the pistons are going to need to be spaced out by one block. After placing your pistons down, dig out a little bit more space and run a redstone wire from the back of the observer over to these pistons on both sides. Now technically, when it comes to wiring up these pistons, you have a couple different options. There are different ways that you can wire your pistons up. How we're gonna do it is like this. Repeater in the middle, repeater in the middle over here. Then all the way around those things, redstone dust, and the redstone dust also runs over towards the middle over here. So we put redstone everywhere and a repeater in the middle on both sides, and now we have this. But this actually isn't right. We need one more repeater in here. On the side with your pistons that are spaced out from the blocks, place a repeater down somewhere and add a little bit of delay, something like that. Now, if we go ahead and change the netherrack into nylium and then bone meal the nylium, the floor will actually move just like that and harvest everything. That's exactly what we want. This is exactly how we'll get all of the plants and uh, even more importantly, more fungi. Then when we're ready to grow a tree, we'll place one in the middle, bone meal it right there, and boom, we have a giant tree. And that right there brings us to the next part of the farm. So we have a tree here now, but it would be kind of annoying to harvest. We'd either have to place scaffolding or mine out the stem and then come back in and rebuild the stem to mine it all the way out. That's a big problem. That's too tedious. We want to make that even easier. And how do we do that? Well, actually really simple. All we need to do is build a raised platform up in the air around this thing so we can reach all of these leave things. Now, of course, of course, the build is going to have to include the new nether blocks. That's the only way to do it. Oi, buddy, buddy, I'm busy here. Can't you see? E exactly, exactly. I was saying the build is going to include the new nether blocks. Now, I'm going to have to come back in here and get some warped wood down below this thing because when it moves, we can see down below it and definitely can't have that happening. By the way, how did that happen? What is that all about? Uh, that's weird. Anyways, I'll be growing more plants and harvesting more trees so I can come back in here and put wood down there around the pistons. Then after that, we're going to put more warp nylium up here to cover all of this redstone so basically eventually we'll have something that kind of looks like this but even better we'll clean it up a little later then of course the top area you already know that we're going to use these brand new warp logs in some form to support the top platform uh what form i'm thinking maybe stripped but how high up should we go let's go one two three four five six uh six is good but let's go seven we'll do seven and then we'll do warped planks up here for the platform the the walking area you know but i'm thinking maybe slabs maybe we'll come back in and do some slabs but let's go ahead and strip these i think that's gonna look a little bit better here uh maybe we're gonna have to get the whole build in to see for sure now these supports i i we could leave them like this but i don't know if i like that instead I think I'd rather make them look sort of alive, if you will. So maybe we go up like randomly like that. And then, of course, strip all of these as well. I think that's going to make a really cool looking vibe here. Then in the middle, uh, we'll have some sort of platform to go up. And then on the other side, we'll do a crimson one. So same thing, but crimson. Now, this top area. How do I want to do that? Uh, slabs, solid blocks. Hmm. I guess you should get all of these support things in first, which means, I I think, unfortunately, I don't really want to do it yet, but I'm going to have to grow another tree and then chop it down. Now, to harvest all of these leaf things and the shroom lights, hoes. Hoes are the way. So we're going to want to try and get a really good hoe over here as well that we pretty much just leave over here. Now, uh, if we grow that really quick and chop out the bottom one, we're not going to actually lose this nylium right there. If we leave that there, the nylium's going to die, kind of like grass. So when we grow trees in this thing, we're going to want to chop the bottom one out quickly then we can worry about all of the other pieces and what we can't reach from down here we'll be able to reach from up there and for now to get up here we'll just use scaffolding that's definitely not going to be the long-term way of doing it scaffolding doesn't match this whole build but but it works it, it's good for now Oh, this is going to be perfect. I chopped down the low area up there, then I climb up here and finish this off. Oh, oh boy, I haven't finished the build, and I'm already loving it. This is, uh, this is, this is exactly, this is exactly what I needed. Aha, uh -huh, I'm having regrets, big regrets that I shouldn't be having right now. Dangerous regrets, unhealthy regrets. Well, that's, uh, uh, okay, it's not that big of a deal, but kind of regretting stripping all of that wood. I don't know. I mean, I like it. It's a good tone. It's clean, but... 
I don't know the textured bark or stem excuse me gonna just call it bark we're just gonna go with it but I don't know that's a really clean texture but anyway we're just gonna have to go with that for now now I've done some thinking uh, of course welcome to circle city we're gonna turn this square into a circle because of course circles are good I've also decided that I want this platform to be pretty thin it's being held up by these thin little uh, stem pole post things and yeah it doesn't need to look very solid very strong because if it does then then how is it even being supported by these things you know I, I I don't know basically that's my reasoning for making it thin so we're gonna do like uh no, no 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 you know what we're gonna do instead we're gonna do staircases we're gonna put a staircase right here and then right next to it we're gonna put another staircase then uh we're gonna come out a little bit and if we're going out there we might want to actually use solid block so solid block solid block solid block and I think that would be it right uh, one, two, uh, we did the staircase, the staircase, then we would do, I think, another staircase here, another one there, another one there, so then we'd have that shape, but to finish it all off, we'd do a slab, a slab, and I don't know if you guys could follow that, it seemed pretty confusing, sounded confusing, but that right there, that's perfect, that's exactly what we're looking for, then on the inside, we have this go in a little bit, I think that's gonna look good. I think that's perfect. I think that's gonna be it. I think that's a move. So let's replicate it. We do staircase, staircase. Then we go over here. We do another staircase and another staircase. Then we get rid of this hoe. It's in the way. We do solid block, solid block, solid block. Then on top of those solid blocks or in front of them, some more staircases. And then finally slabs over here to cap it off. That's definitely more than enough walking around room. Even if we put some fences there, we're definitely gonna want a border for sure. I don't want to fall off this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this all makes sense. I think this is gonna be good. It's gonna be perfect. It's gonna work out. Awesome. Yeah, by the way, today's build is one of those winging it builds. I'm kind of making it up as I go, but honestly, I, I think this is kind of working out. This is... This should function pretty much perfectly. The only question is, can we grow a giant fungus with this platform built around it? Which, I mean, I think the answer is going to be yes. These fungus, at least from my experience in the snapshots, they're kind of just determined and they just kind of grow wherever they want to go. So should work. Hopefully we don't get any of these blocks replaced when we grow up this thing. I don't think we would. I don't see why we would. But I mean, yeah, these fungus, they're weird. They kind of grow strangely sometimes. And we lost the hoe. Two blocks too soon. Nice. Nice going, ho. Thanks. Okay, anyways, we put a mushroom right there. We bone meal it. It grows. We chop the bottom out quickly. And it worked. It's not very tall. We're going to have to test that a little bit more and make sure they can grow tall. But I think they can. I mean, look it. It would fit right through here. I think we just got a short one that time. Um, Going to have to do a little bit more testing on this one. Oh, and by the way, to cover up the wiring back here, because we can't just put blocks there, the wire would be cut off, we're just going to do a slab, a slab, a slab, and then wait for it, another slab right there. Then I think I'd like to do stem blocks on the ground around this thing, kind of create a border, and then like I said, the nylium just kind of spilling out around this thing, I think that's going to look pretty clean, and I think it's going to look good. We'll fill this in with grass for now, I don't know how far the nylium will go, it'll probably be expanded a little bit, but uh, yeah, that's just kind of temporary. But I'm going to go ahead and chop this tree down now and do it again grow another one and see what we get we're gonna have to make another hoe uh, we're just gonna use the iron not that it matters we have that iron beast over there anyways so it's fine we can afford it but eventually we're definitely gonna want to get a better hoe over here probably something with efficiency five a diamond and eventually netherite mending as well and we'll just kind of leave it over here it'll be the hoe that we use to harvest these leaves and then every once in a while go over to an experience farm with it mend it up you know get it back to full health but i gotta say so far this farm seems to be working perfectly in terms of harvesting we can reach everything without having to struggle at all which is exactly what we want all right test number two will it grow tall no it doesn't all right all right now can we just chop out the stem and grow another one that's the other big question maybe we clear that out right there we plant that right there bone meal and it grows oh and i think it grew through the top right uh-huh okay okay that's exactly what we wanted so this platform I, I think what I've gathered from all of that is that the sizing is perfect. It's good, and it's going to work. But did I? I forgot to chop out the bottom one. Okay, good. Good. We were quick enough. Now we can go ahead and clean this one up and actually move over to the next one. Or actually the middle. We should probably do the middle next. Wow, chopping down those trees is getting me a lot of these warped warp blocks. That is crazy. We already have this full row filled up already. We might... We might need, like, more storage for these blocks, because I think I'm gonna end up harvesting a lot of these trees. Yikes. Blackstone. It's a good, strong-looking, cool block. Also, it's a new nether update block. 
Quartz, it's also another block. I'm thinking that for this middle platform, basically the way up and down, we could use Blackstone and Quartz. Now, how are we going to get up and down? Well, take a look at these vines. Twisting vines. They're really, really cool, and obviously, they match the whole theme and feel of this build because, uh, yeah, you know, another update things. I'm thinking that twisting vines will be the way up and down, on and off of these platforms. In the middle, we're going to build a blackstone piece that is going to be kind of like the bridge, the actual, I guess, entryway onto these platforms. We're going to need a lot of blackstone bricks. I think we're going to want to use a fair amount of chiseled blackstone as well. That stuff looks pretty cool. Maybe some blackstone walls as well. Let's go with the not the wall let's just do or yeah 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 the polished blackstone wall no bricks is what i meant let's get maybe some of those as well and then let's just see what we have right now so uh this platform thing we're gonna want to put it right there it's gonna go up and connect right to that piece over there so maybe we start with a brick then we could do maybe like a chiseled polished blackstone brick block thing that thing right there then we could do wall and then wall then we're gonna probably want to put some scaffolding so we can get up here after that we could do maybe brick brick uh brick maybe three bricks and then we're all the way up at the top so we'll cap it off with another cool chiseled thing then we could maybe put a slab on top i think that would look cool so then uh we're gonna want to basically uh copy that i think but of course of course i think we want to put an arch in the middle of this thing so let's go ahead and grab I think some polished uh, blackstone brick stairs, those things, and then maybe some slabs as well, just a little bit. Now, the arch, where can we put it? Let's say maybe right there. I feel like that's the right spot to start the arch. So we start with a staircase like that. Then I think what we want to do is a slab, and then we go over a little bit, and we put another slab. Then we do another slab, and maybe those go up like that. Then we go over a little bit more, and we do a slab, and then... I think a staircase, upside down, right there. And then we would do the same support again, I think right maybe i think i think that's exactly right we go right there then we come over here we put another wall then we go brick 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 and finally chiseled piece right there and then we get more slabs right there i think that's gonna look actually pretty good oh yeah that's gonna look great that's gonna be perfect then right in the middle underneath this thing so okay did i lose i lost those all really oh no i hope i have more uh yikes yay yikes why did that happen Come on, please have more, please have more, please have more, please have more, please have more. I don't want to go to the nether. Please have more. Yes, we have more. Okay, great. We'll try it again. This time, we don't plant them until we're ready. All right, so the back side. Judging off of how we have this connected there, the back post will be right there. So we'll have this platform be three deep, which means that vines will go right here in the center. But... I think we should not plant them on dirt. Dirt wouldn't really match, and I don't know about netherrack. Netherrack would work, but should we do soul soil? Can we plant them on soul soil? Would soul soil look cool? Definitely. But would it look random also? Mm, maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe we just do netherrack there, and then we could maybe, like, bone meal netherrack spilling into here, so we have, like, crimson netherrack. I mean, nylium, nylium. So we have, like, warp nylium coming in from one side, crimson from the other side. I think that'll look cool. Then we have the vines right there, probably, maybe, hopefully. We'll bone meal them a little taller this time. We'll be able to climb these things like this. Then... Finally, we need a floor in here. Now, what is the floor going to be? Well, that's pretty easy. Uh, quartz. Quartz is going to be the way to go, for sure. But if we can conserve quartz, we will conserve quartz. We're going to use quartz slabs, smooth quartz slabs, and then maybe some smooth quartz staircases as well. Big maybe there on the staircases, though. So, up top, here's what I'm thinking. We'll start with some smooth quartz staircases placed just like this. With the staircases like that, we'll have this little border right here onto this platform. It'll make this build look separate from this one, but still attached. Basically good, and we don't have a weird, harsh border there. Instead, we have that step down. Then, inside of here, I think we could basically just place smooth quartz slabs all the way around this thing. Pretty plain, pretty simple, but effective. Uh, we need two more, and then three more staircases. That should be good then we can go up and down easily on these vines no more scaffolding needed and it looks clean from the bottom too and it's nethery even better i think that's perfect i think that's exactly what we want to do but a uh, big problem and it's not that big of a problem but we're just missing something on this side right here what are we missing of course you already know we're missing an arch we're gonna put a staircase there a staircase there i'll take that one out i'll put some slabs there we'll have another smaller arch not as good of an arch but still an arch so pretty good Oh, you know what? Right there. Boom. This arch might even be better than the other one. Yes, it looks a little disconnected, but no, it doesn't matter at all. It's, it's perfect.
Uh, hey, all right. I mean, I don't know about you, but I know that I like this. I think this looks really good. This is definitely platform success. All we need is a slab there, slab there, slab there, and a slab there. Now, this spot is open. I'm thinking maybe white stained glass right there and white stained glass right there. Obviously, we want to leave this side open because this is how we move over to this platform. We're going to need some fences up here, but instead of warp fences, I think we do crimson fences over here on, on the warped one, and then we do warped fences on the crimson platform platform over there which brings us to that crimson platform so now basically i need to replicate everything that i've done over here i'm gonna need to get more netherrack all of these building supplies over there the redstone's already there and copy it but this time instead of warp nylium we do crimson nylium so from the center right here i go one block right there two three four five six seven eight Eight from there. That's a nice, easy number. That's clean. That worked out perfect. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the center. We dig down. We dig down again. We place that right there. Then we can form that three by three right around this thing. And then the redstone, uh, like I said, it all gets copied. But this time, it'll be the, the crimson stuff. So simple. Temporary block right there. Observer looking at the ground. No, that's not right. Observer looking at the temporary block like that. Dig that out. Dig all of this out. Of course, we're going to have to place more blocks. And I'm not a savage. I'm not going to lay the redstone on dirt. No, we had stone brick for that, of course. Uh, we're going to put some pistons in here, right there, just like that. Over here, same thing. Space them out a little bit like that. Oh, this is going to be perfect. This is going to be big. This is going to be great. I'm excited. And hey, would you take a look at that? I found a staircase. I'm thinking that this is a staircase that I assume goes down into the ravine. I don't know when that staircase was put in though. That's uh, kind of weird, kind of confusing. Hey, that's pretty good. Look at that redstone wiring, clean on stone bricks, looks perfect. Okay, so it's crimson time. We replace that with the crimson nylium. We grow it in here, perfect, beautiful. Look at that. Then we bone meal right in front of the observer, and this is important. You want to bone meal in front of the observer because ideally we're hoping for a plant to grow right there so the observer sees a block update. So you see plant group, block update, pushes the floor, they're all harvested. We do it again, no plant, so no block update, but it's okay. We do it again, boom. Boom, 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 perfect. Okay, we have some mushrooms, which means we can grow this nice and big and tall and strong now and start stocking up on this wood. I actually don't have very much of this wood. Now, interestingly, with this one, we're actually gonna get some of the vines as well. The vines will grow on these trees, which is pretty cool. Will we make a twisting and weeping vine farm eventually? Probably, but uh, not right now, not today. But uh, anyways, I need to chop these trees down, grow them, harvest them so I can actually get wood to build the platform. Then I need to put the final touches on all of this stuff. What does that all mean? It means I got some building to do. I'm going to do that building off camera. And when we're back, we're going to have a beautiful finished farm. And our base is actually going to be quite a bit extended. So this is what it looks like right now. You give me a minute and we're going to see a transformation. So guys, I did some building off camera. What do you think? This is the build in almost all of its finished beauty and glory. So, uh, one final run through of this thing. Walk over here, bone meal this thing a few times like that. There we go. We got a mushroom, place it down, grow it like that. Chop out the bottom one though, because of course we don't want that to go away. And we have a giant fungi grown in there. Over here, the blue one, pretty much the same thing, but better, because blue wood, it's better. Place the mushroom down, grow it, ouch, that hurt a little bit, chop that out, that's a tiny tree, but it works, it's great. Then, over here, we can climb right up in the middle. I did a trick at the top to stop the vines from growing. The trick is string. String is placed right there. The string won't let the vines grow anymore, so that'll look clean always. Then we can walk around up here and harvest everything as we need to with a good hoe, which is something that I unfortunately don't have. I've made like six or seven iron hoes throughout the, uh, the recording of this video, maybe even more, honestly. But yeah, we're gonna have to get a good one very, very soon. Now, from far away, this build, ooh, gotta say, it's looking on point i think at least I, I think it looks really good down here i spread a bunch of nylium on the ground and then i kind of remembered that the the leaf blocks these things are down on the ground as well so i put those on the ground over here on the ground over here and then kind of had a um i guess like a mixture in the middle it kind of meets up together i think that looks pretty good but 
there is one big thing that this build is missing, and that is, uh, it involves Zyron. So, Minecraft 1.16 finally added these beautiful, beautiful things known as chains. We are definitely going to incorporate some chains into our build. I think that'll look really cool. And 1.16 also added this cool stuff known as Soul Fire. I think it would be really cool to get some Soul Fire lanterns on this build. So, we're going to need, uh, I think, more nuggets. We probably won't have enough. That might do. And then we need Soul Lantern. Where is Soul Lantern? Uh, do we have to make it first? All right, torches right there, nuggets right there. Boom. Oh, recipe unlocked. It was a secret recipe, but big brain us, uh, we already knew. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is what I'm thinking. We put a chain over here, we put a lantern right there. Then over here, we put a chain right here, and we put a lantern right there. Then, wait for it. Over here, we put a chain right there, and a lantern right there. It was surprising, I know. Then same thing there, chain, lantern. And we'll do the exact same thing on the back. And oh, for sure, for sure, this is like another update temple right here look at that elites this is pretty fresh i think uh yeah yeah i really really like that i think that's gonna be great this is gonna supply us with all of our nether plants that we ever need all of the nether fungus that we ever need and all of the nether wood that we will ever need as well now there is one downside about this farm the downside has to do with the blue plants, specifically the smallest one. Nether sprouts, these tiny things right here. So to harvest these things, to actually collect them, you're going to need to use shears, which means this whole moving floor contraption, it actually won't get you any nether sprouts, unfortunately. So if you're looking for nether sprouts, just make a nylium patch, get some shears, and just harvest them manually. But if you're not looking for nether sprouts and you're looking for the warped plants, so these things right there, then you're golden. It'll be good. But, Elites, I think that is going to be just about it for this episode of the Minecraft Guide. Now, I want to say that I'm planning on actually maybe taking on a gigantic project very, very soon. Next episode, it might be a little bit of some preparation for the project, and we'll talk about it. And then, the episode after that, we might actually build that project. The project is sort of a necessary step in this world if we want to do other Nether Update things in this world. But, I don't know. I'm not too sure yet. I do have another idea in mind, too. Uh, so secretive it, everything that i said might mean nothing mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, anyways elites so that's how you build a farm for the new nether update plants and a farm for the new gigantic nether update fungi trees if you enjoyed today's video i need you to do me a favor smash like if you haven't yet subscribe if you didn't do that yet hit that bell as well and then stay fresh i'll see you in the next video tomorrow goodbye everyone